All seven countries, and Florida too, of course, concluded that kids don't need their development interrupted, the girls don't need their periods stopped and their voices lowered, and the boys don't need to grow breasts. What they need is psychotherapy. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Um, I have a new video on my list, so I'll love us check it out together. She destroys gender ideology in five minutes. And I'd love to check this video out with you guys. Let's get right to it. Thank you for your testimony. The chair now recognizes Dr. Grossman for five minutes for your opening statement. Thank you for the opportunity to address you. My name is Miriam Grossman. I am a board certified child, adolescent, and adult psychiatrist, author, and senior fellow at Do No Harm. I have been taking care of patients for 45 years. I'm going to use my time to respond to Dr. McNamara. First, I'm struck by her use of the phrase, sex assigned at birth. Sex is not assigned at birth. Mm. Sex is established at conception and it's recognized at birth, if not earlier. Dr. McNamara claims that her views are science-based but to claim that sex is assigned at birth is without any scientific basis whatsoever. Its language misleads people, especially children, into thinking that male and female are arbitrary designations and can change. That is simply not true. Mm. Dr. McNamara claims that social and medical interventions are the only evidence-based treatment and that scientific evidence shows it is life-saving. Without it, she's warning us, kids will commit suicide. Well, a growing number of countries have effectively banned the care to which she's referring. And thank God, there's been no wave of suicides or other mental health catastrophes. Three years ago, Finland placed strict limitations on medical interventions for minors. Sweden did the same thing after a 14-year-old girl was found to have osteoporosis and spinal fractures from puberty blockers. An investigation concluded, quote, the risks of anti-puberty uh, and hormone treatment for those under 18 currently outweigh the possible benefits. The UK conducted a review and called the evidence very low. They've also placed severe restrictions on the care that Dr. McNamara calls life-saving. Norway also analyzed the data and has made similar changes in policy. The National Academy of Medicine in France warned, quote, great medical caution must be taken in children and adolescents given the vulnerability of this population and the many undesirable, even serious complications the therapies cause. Doctors in New Zealand and Australia have published similar statements. Is Dr. McNamara suggesting that all these countries are rejecting evidence-based treatment and placing their kids at risk of suicide? Regarding that point of view, Finland's gender expert, Dr. Rita Kaltiela said, quote, it's purposeful disinformation, the spreading of which is irresponsible. All seven countries, and Florida too, of course, concluded that kids don't need their development interrupted, mm. the girls don't need their periods stopped and their voices lowered, and the boys don't need to grow breasts. What they need is psychotherapy. Thank you. I have other objections Thank to you. Dr. McNamara's testimony. She insists that her position, only hers, represents standard medical care. What she doesn't want you to know is that there is no standard. There's a debate. There's a fierce debate. Mm. And on the side opposite her stand such prominent figures as Stephen Levine, Kenneth Zucker, Paul McHugh, and James Cantor, among others. These doctors are giants in the field. They have been treating transgender patients and gathering data and publishing papers about them. And I mean no disrespect here but since before Dr. McNamara was born. The point is that those veteran clinicians and others who have wisdom and experience are ignored because they disagree with the current narrative. 
They're against medical interventions for the same reason those seven countries are. There is no evidence of long-term benefit, but there is evidence of harm. Mm. I'll end by quoting Jamie Reed, the courageous whistleblower from the Children's Gender Clinic in St. Louis. I believe that that hospital receives the medical education funding that we're discussing today. She said that doctors at that clinic said, we are building the plane while we are flying it. Mm. We are building the plane while we are flying it. That's how they described the treatment at their gender clinic. Our precious tax dollars should not support such a perilous experiment. Thank you. Five minutes well used. This lady is incredible. I love the speech so much because she just spoke my mind. She spoke what I was trying to say out since. They need psychotherapy. They don't need any property blocker. A lot of people are committing suicide every day. People are taking this LGBTQ plus for a joke. People are taking all this gender identity for a joke. It is well serious. Very serious. Probably it has not happened to someone you know. You understand? Maybe someone you know that's close to you have not committed suicide yet. There are some people taking that for likely, like taking that as a joke. It is very serious, guys. It is very serious. Puberty blockers, a lot of people, a lot of young teenagers have died because of these puberty blockers. A lot of people who are youth, who people who are above 21, 22, that have done some life altering decision about like surgeries to, to cut off their breasts and stuff, also removing their uterus. A lot of people have died. A lot of people have committed suicide because they have made a decision in their life that alter them, that they can't go back. A lot of women can't give birth anymore. It is way serious than we are seeing it. Probably because you have no help to someone you know. Doesn't mean it's less number than minors. It is very serious. It is, I'm keeping saying, it is very serious. These people need psychotherapy. And a lot of doctors that is coming out to say trash every time in the news, online and saying puberty hormone is good. You can take the drug, your hormone blockers, you can take it. Those doctors are saying, people, young, young teenagers, those hormone bl blockers, let me tell you something. It's used for cancer patients that are given to children to stop their hormone from activating. It is very terrible. It is suicidal. It is suicidal. We are taking this for, for granted. It is terrible. I keep on saying it every time. This, I wish I don't go say this with my life because she just spoke my mind. Five minutes well used. I love every moment of her speech. This is a meaningful speech the world has to do. I'm going to pause this. I pray you guys pay attention to the speech. Listen to her word. You can rewind the video back. Listen to every word that comes out from, from my mouth. Every word that came out from my mouth. Listen to it. She is saying the truth. Plain. Plain black. Like blank. You can see it. This is the truth that people are hiding for us. Seven countries, seven countries deny these puberty blockers because why they are dangerous. They are very, very dangerous. I've said this several times. These people need psychotherapy. They need psychologists. They need help. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not against LGBTQ plus. I'm not against your crew. I'm not against you guys. But they should not carry those things to children. They should not tell children in their head. Do you feel like a boy? Yes, I feel like a boy. Then let's go do some surgery. Take some puberty blockers. No, I am against that. I am totally against that. That is why I cross the line. Don't bring your LGBT puke clubs, I don't know what you call them, to children. I am, f I am against that. Once they are 18, 21, they can go make decisions for themselves. Don't carry it and meet them. Some children are killing themselves, bro. This is very serious. Comment down below what you think about our video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can to see what this woman said. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all